Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome back to another video. So today I'll be doing a real quick and easy spring light pink makeup look for you guys. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. And then I'll take these two concealers from Juvia's Place. One is in number 12. That's the lighter shade that I use below my brow. And the darker shade is in number 7. I'm also going to use number 12 to base my lid. And this acts as a primer for my eyeshadow. And I'm going to set my concealer with your spawn loose face powder before I go in with my eyeshadow. I'm going to take this light color from the Walla 2 palette. And I'm using this as my transition shade. Then I go in with the light pink color. And I'll use that as my main color. So I'm only using two shades today. That brown color that I use for my transition. And then it's really pretty light pink color. I really wanted something really easy and subtle. So I went for these two shades. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do a bold wing with my gel liner and i'm going to do that first then i go in the city of neon lights take the black shade and i will set that so that it doesn't transfer onto my lid next i'm going to clean up with my concealer and then i'm going to prep my lashes with my mascara so that i can apply my lashes but before i apply my lashes i'm going to go and add my primer and then I'm going in with concealer first. I'm just going to put that on all the parts that I want my concealer. Right here I'm just like kind of drying my face down a bit and while it dries down I've decided to put my lashes on. Once my concealer dries on just a tad I'm going in with my damp sponge and I'll be blending that in. I let my concealer dry down just a little bit so that it doesn't like shift around too much and it provides extra coverage. I wanted a light foundation today, so I'm using a stick foundation. This is from Black Opal. I believe that this is in the shade uh, Topaz. So I'm just gonna like put that around my face and then I blend in with my damp sponge and merge that into my concealer. So I'm gonna pounce, pounce, pounce that into my face, not rubbing it too, too much. I'm just patting it in until everything starts to merge and blend together. So now I'm just going to ensure that under my eyes not creasing because I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. I'm using the same ear spawn setting powder to set my concealer. And I'm just going to blend that in. I pat for as long as needed. Pat, pat, pat so that I can like, soak into my skin. Next, I'm going to use my face powder. I'm using Mimi Fit Me 355 Coconut. This is my go-to shade. I always use this color ever since. I'm just going to pat that into my face and then blend it in and ensure to blend around the edges of my setting powder so everything can come together i'm using the black radiant true complexion contour palette i'm taking the sculpt color to bronze my face up i use like a fluffy brush to add my color and i just pat that in and blend it as much as possible and then i would go back over with my powder brush just to tone that shade down i'm just gonna spray my face with my face mist and then allow that to dry down so that my makeup can come together and look more skin like I'm going back in with that black radiance palette and i'm taking the highlight color really love this highlight it is so 
natural looking like it's giving you an inner glue i'm gonna go ahead and add that to my cheeks and to my nose and blend that out using my fingers just a little now i'm going in with this juvia's pencil lip liner and it is called cola this is a really nice dark brown color to use to like outline your lips really love the way that it looks and it's super creamy now i'm going in with this milani matte satin finish and it's called indulge gator and i'm gonna add that to my lips and to blend my lips in i like do this motion <laughs> like just to like blend everything Next I'm going in with this Juve Next I'm going in with this Juvia Lip Gloss. It was a collab with a Yami Angelina. It is called Island Mami and I really like this lip gloss. Super creamy and I love the shade that I end up with. So this is the final look you guys. Hope you guys like this makeup tutorial. Um if you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.